And now, the moment you've all been waiting for, the winner of the Through Night TI3 Everyday Carry Flashlight is... Killing you. Father of four homestead. Dynamite comes in small packages. We'll try to PM you uh, to make sure that you uh, give us your address. Otherwise, if you're watching this video, which you should be like a good subscriber, <laughs> then you can uh, PM us and we'll get that right out to you. Now enjoy today's regular scheduled programming. What's up, Homestead Homies? It's Off Grid with Doug and Stacy, and I'm Doug. Now, one of the questions that we do get a lot on our channel is about the meat birds, the friars, the Cornish crosses that we raise for meat every year on the homestead. All right, so today what we're going to do is we're going to address how Doug and Stacy raise their friars, meat birds, um, or the Cornish crosses <laughs> as they're also referred to on the homestead okay uh, we get a lot of questions people have a lot of problems with um, they get sick or the legs give out on them um, or they have heart attacks and stuff like that okay so what I'm gonna try to do today is I'm gonna show you our birds um, that we're raising right now we're gonna talk about their health and what we feed them how we feed them and then we're gonna talk about how to um, you know avoid leg problems on your um, Cornish crosses. Now, this is just how we do it. It's worked really well for us. We've been, uh, this will be our fifth year living off grid and homesteading. So um, we're just sharing with you guys what we've learned. And so far, I mean, we we rarely ever lose any uh, from heart attacks or being sick or whatever. And we've never had any leg issues um, with any of our fryers. So we're just gonna share this information with you and hopefully it works for you guys too. Let's go. These are uh, some of the Cornish crosses that we're raising right now. As you can see, uh, they're rather large um, and they're moving around pretty good. We're going to butcher them this weekend. Uh, we have a special guest coming up. Um, no problems. They, see them, they jump right up. Now, one of the secrets um, to keeping your Cornish crosses um, healthy is to make sure they get a lot of exercise, okay? These are, uh, they free range all the time, okay? And we feed them the same uh, food that we feed our regular laying hens. If you, uh, we'll link that video above so you can check that out. But they get the same feed as we feed our laying hens. All right. So as you can see, like I was saying, they, they are, you saw them jumping up on the uh, housing there. Uh, they're healthy and they move around really good. So that's one, one secret to um, keeping their legs healthy is to make sure that they get plenty of exercise as they're growing, right? If you're keeping your um, birds in like a pinned area, they're not getting enough exercise and then they put the weight on and then the, you have leg problems, okay? Now, what the other trick is, is that you don't wanna have them put the weight on too fast, right? So what you wanna do is you don't leave food out for them all day long. What you want to do is feed them in the morning and then feed them in the evening and then they'll be out free ranging. They eat the grass, the bugs, um, just like our regular chickens because darn it if they don't think they are chickens. <laughs> okay. So the feed that we use will be linked right here. So you don't want to leave food out for them all the time because they're like gluttons, man. They're just going to keep eating, keep eating, keep eating, keep eating and they'll put the weight on too fast and then you'll have a lot of egg is leg issues and a lot of trouble with their health. Okay, so we feed them in the morning and then we give them a small little dose at night. Always make sure they have fresh water. We also give them apple cider vinegar in their water. Also, what we also do is, um, you know, we give them uh, yogurt every once in a while or some milk. They love that as a treat. Um, and then, of course, uh, you know, we butcher them out and they always are very healthy and very large. We'll be butchering those um, this weekend. On Sunday, we have a special guest, a fellow YouTuber, stopping by the homestead. Hopefully, if that works out, and uh, that's one of the things we'll do while they're here is uh, get our hands a little dirty and do some butchering. So remember, if you have the fryers, the Cornish hen crosses, the meat birds, whatever you want to call them, don't feed them all the time because they'll put on weight too fast for their legs. Give them 
apple cider vinegar in their water, let them free range, let them walk around and build up the strength in the legs and the muscles. Um, give them some yogurt every once in a while for their probiotic health. Uh, we don't have any problems with runny bud or anything with our chickens because um, we do feed them that way. Okay, so hopefully you guys got a few tips off of this. And if you're raising your meat birds, maybe this will cut down on your deaths and for sure your um, issues that you might have with leg problems. This is Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. I'm Doug, and we'll catch you guys on the next episode. We're going to talk about. We're talking about herb infused vinegar and all the cool things we can use them.